for the startup, place high foundations. Goes around. And here. Like so. There's a TC kind of close. Do it off. Make sure you have a door for this. Wooden and shimo, doesn't matter. Tier 1 goes in front of here. Then. Furnace here. You won't have an airlock until you expand. So that is one downside. It's this one, because it's really not much. Expand out of this, not much stone. So you've done that. Go all out. Place a foundation. Foundation. Around here. Make sure you place two half walls here, because this will be necessary for later. We've done this. You come down here. Place two boxes. And then we'll do that. As so you've done that, you place this. Just make sure this is twig. That. Make sure this is wood. Just, you need to subside that later on. Then you've done all the expansion. Then you can fix this up here. Demolish this. Demolish that. Move your furnace over to here. Pick this up. Make a large box. Here, so you have more room. You can also place another large box here. If you have to, you need more room. Pick this up and make sure you rotate this other way. Because you need to be able to place your bag. You can really place it however you want. You can place it here. I recommend placing it like this just so you have more room for later. Should be able to place a large box here. There you go. That is kind of tricky. Once you've done that, you can go by expanding out here. So, triangle, little triangle. I have one here. If you can't place it here, I'll push it here. I have a high one here. Let's see where you can place the high ones. There should only be two low ones. Now you're going to make these fake foundations. that. Make a little twig jump up to get up here. Place this. Do not forget about this one back here. That is very forgettable. I definitely forget it a few times now. There's plenty for it. Okay, once you've done that, you go and start walling this off. Make sure you place it up there. Okay. Right here, jump it to here. Here, make sure you there. Once you've done that, you can now go down to your jump up. Do this, then pull that off. Half full, like candy stone. And then, so, and you can set it up. Other than this spot right there. Once you've done this, you can move that off as well. Move that. For the loot room. Yeah, you can place that there if you want. You just won't have roof access. Or you can waste a furnace and then place a furnace here. So you do have roof access. Then, once you're done with this, you can place more furnaces here. Make sure not to place anything here because you'll need this later. Right here, if you have more room, you can just chuck a barbecue and a box. This equals up to a large box. And you can just uh, 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 full frame that off. Then you can place two large boxes here. If you place it well, you can place small boxes there. After doing that, you can place your door down here. Also, make sure to place this up here. Because we'll have to place that later on. And you can add door frames. Or, well, make sure you don't do what I just did. around other than here don't place a little frame one down here as well okay once you've done this soft side this once you get a ladder
If you don't get a ladder, just keep it like this, but you won't be able to use bomb kill. Once you get a ladder, you soft side this, which is two machetes. And you can pick this up and place a ladder here. Once you do that, you can do the bunker. You gotta pick up this box. Place a door frame here. A twig frame, so this could be twig. Then a stone ceiling, you can place it by placing it here, this angle, or you can place it from over here. It's a bit trickier. You can place it like that, and then this works by placing this, and this works. You also gotta place a here. This jump might be sometimes difficult. After you've done that, you can start working on the outside. So you can do front here. Up to you what you want to do. You can do shotguns here. I recommend doing this. Less metal fight. If you don't have BP, you can do shot fronts. Doors here. Lock it. And place uh, depot boxes here. With a small box. You can also see over like that. So that it's crashing. You can lay small boxes here if you like, or a shotgun trap, really up to you. If you really need more space, you can place that there and then it's a small one. You will have to pick those up there for that garage door. Going up here. Recommend placing a door here, so you have easy access to close this, so if you get over here you can close it, close it from outside as well. If you have anyone that's going deep, you should be fine. And you can start placing garage doors, if you have a deep. Every way around here, which makes the box more expensive. <coughs> then once you're done here, you will have to pick these up and then you can just replace this. Which might be annoying if you have a so you've done that. Um, go back outside. Start placing triangles around like this. You lay triangles. So you've done that. It should look like that. Kind of look like a circle in a way. So you've done that. Those triangles. This one here's a bit hard. You got to jump in place. Jumping, do that all around the other side, so I'm just going to do it like this. So once you've done that, that acts as a help for splashing. So when you're ready to go, it'll help with splashing for this lower part here. We'll get damaged, but it can help. So I'm trying to splash it. Once you've done that, you can start working on the shooting floor. Make sure you do place this down here. Yeah. Obviously for the honeycomb. After you've done that, make sure you place these roofs where I place them. So you don't, then you'll have like an open spot here. So you've got to place one this side of the honeycomb. Doing that, you place um, one like this, and uh, like honeycomb, this will be pancake player right here. After doing this, this is where you need a ladder hatch or a ladder because you won't be able to get up here unless you like, demolish this and have a way to get up this way and then jump up like that. It will be very confusing. So you will need a ladder like this. You have to place a ladder here. Or a ladder hatch, which would go right here. Once you've done that, you can place things here. Then your windows. Doing that, place a window here, window here, window here. And you gotta place planes on the side. So one here as well. Cool. This part is very metal cost because you gotta place double doors all throughout here. This, will, this part will cost a fair bit, but you don't need them straight away. But 
have to be good for all better protection, so you have to be in peace. If you're doing that, you can play a sealed door here as well. And up to your sins. Get that bit open. And do this. For the jump up. It's a plane for a garage door. Then make sure you do windows here. And space. After this. You need to place these here to stop people from going down like this. You don't want that. So what you can do is do that. So people can't get into your swimming pool by just boosting or pushing someone down. Doing that, you can place triangles here. Or the triangles. Oops. Then you can, this is very optional. You can do this if you would like. If you have better protection or better door, but really up to you. This kind of blocks off this, I recommend not, but up to you. Then you can place a garage door down here. Then place my windows here. You can put shop fronts here and here if you don't have the DP. Then embrasures go right here. This would be good for taking heli. If not, Obviously, you play on two colors, so it depends. You shoot them down and you see these pigs down here as well. You see this? Once you've done that, you can just place more frames around. If you want to as you can, or just use it for stability. Down here is where you got to have the ladder. So you got to be able to place it and then go up, or you can have a ladder hatch. I would recommend. After that, you would want to get rid of these. Place them here. You're going to have to remove this and place a garage door here instead. Can't place it like that. You're going to have to move the furnaces back more. Doing that. This can be used for a vending machine. If you've done that. Should be able to get up, no problem. All this, and then I'd recommend seat meddling everything. This might be a bit annoying to get to. You can't reach it. You to get one of these boxes. Seat metal the whole core. When you upgrade this to a tier two, make sure you upgrade this seat metal, or probably most likely armor. So you have to do it later. And just some of this. Make sure you do the roofs because these are very important. Armor these first and everything. This is gonna say help you get the top lines. And all this around. Also make sure you do this armor as well. Go to bunkers. And then And then you just keep shooting shoot meddling it up. The cost for the base is only around 30 box of stone. Pretty cheap for a solo, and then it fully ship metal, including deployable. Oh, not including deployables. It is twenty around twenty thousand st um, metal. So yeah, pretty good base for a solo grub. Yeah, hope you guys like it.